so in the loudest voice you can, we're gonna say Palestine 10 times. Palestine! 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 We also have three demands for today's rally. We have many demands and y'all already know you hear us chanting them. We don't want two states, we want all of it. We want to free all of Palestine from the river to the sea. But here are three specific demands that organizers of this rally, not only here, but at actions across the country are calling for. One, we are calling for the end of charitable funds. We are calling for the end of charitable funds raised on behalf of Israeli settler organizations. And we call for the dismantlement of charities funding all Zionist settler institutions. Two, we are calling for an end to the $3.8 billion a year or $10 million a day in U.S. military aid to Israel. And three, we are calling for an end to the 70 years of the ongoing Nakba and the unconditional right of return to, the, to, to Palestine as consistently upheld by the Palestinian people and enshrined in international law. These are just some of the demands for today. And this re revocation of the 501c3 status, this is a legal fight, this is a legal battle that we have to wage because it is the laws of this government, of the US government, that allow people to send money to kill Palestinians on our own land. So with us today, we have the CUNY Law Students for Justice in Palestine who have been working on this issue. I'm also part of that group because I'm also a CUNY Law student who have been working and researching how to challenge the laws that allow these organizations to not only send money to kill Palestinians, but also get a tax write-off for it. So they have names like the Jewish National Fund or the Jewish Communal Fund. They do not represent the Jewish people. They are Zionist organizations. They are Zionist organizations hiding behind Judaism to commit atrocities against the Palestinian people. So every single organization on that list is a legitimate target because every single organization on that list supports the Zionist entity. And we know that there are many Jewish people all over the world that have made it known that they do not stand with the state of Israel, that it does not speak for them, and that they completely reject it. At the school, at CUNY School of Law, the Jewish Law Students Association changed change their uh, official documents to be officially anti-Zionist. <laughs> Jewish people around the world have been saying that this is not in our name, and today we are excited to announce our next speaker, Rabbi Weiss from the Naturi Karta, who have come and consistently stood with us at every Palestine protest. We're standing here in Manhattan. People call it's one of the most uh, important centers of the world, the business centers of the world. So it is critical that from this point, with the help of the Almighty, as I always, I pray to the Almighty to give me his words, to bestow upon me his knowledge, his wisdom that I may convey his message in the name of the Jewish people who are oppressed also in Palestine, in occupied Palestine, and from my Jewish brothers and sisters from around the world, and of course, from all the Palestinian people and the oppressed people around the world. We are here in this important location on Land Day, a day that was to commemorate 
the further occupation of a chunk of occupied Palestine. Don't think that this land day is the original sin, the original crime that was committed by the Zionists. The Zionist crime is that they were born. The Zionist crime is that they put on the Jewish garb and waved the Star of David and had the audacity to speak in the name of my religion, a religion of 3,000 years, a religion that we, the Jewish people, have made a covenant with God to die, to uphold the subservience to God. And these heretics, these criminals, the Zionists, have taken this mantle, this name, to use as a weapon to occupy God's creation, the human beings of Palestine. This is unacceptable. The rabbinical authorities around the world, not the ones, the clowns who masquerade in the name of Chief Rabbi, the names Rabbinic, all these names are names that simply have been stolen from Jewish people. We have an ongoing community today living in Palestine that was living there for hundreds of years as brothers and sisters together with people of the Muslim faith, of the Christian faith, living in the same courtyards, coexisting in harmony and peace. There is no question about it of these young people here are children and grandchildren of the people who lived in Palestine and we have many people who attest both from the Jewish community and the Palestinian community the Arab Palestinian community who couldn't attest to this coexistence before there was a concept of human rights people to watch human rights a witness or so because it was never necessary it was the simple coexistence of God's creation together Zionism is a move, a creation of a political, foul, flawed, selfish movement that started a little over a hundred years ago. And they're using and abusing God's people and our religion to intimidate and to stifle and silence the voice of the human rights activists and people who will not accept an occupation of innocent that is why they're using my identity and we will not be silent. <laughs> Zionism is a transformation from subservience to God, from the acceptance of the Jewish religion, to a simple, material, political, selfish movement. There is no other translation of this movement of Zionism and the Zionist state of Israel. There is no other to it. We will not accept it and we will tell you that as we are here today as representatives of the Jewish communities around the world, the closest that is very large is right across the bridge, the Williamsburg Bridge, where you will see miles and miles of Jews dressed as Jews who refuse to wave one single Israeli flag and that's just one symbol. And these are not these are Jews who are giving their lives to practice the religion where they're using kosher food they're dressed in the modesty of Judaism you see these are real Judaism real Jews and they don't have one single Israeli flag in the occupied land of Palestine the Jewish brothers and sisters are daily beaten and they are arrested and they are treated like Dogs, they, they, they treat better. That's what they do with my brothers and sisters because they refuse to accept the occupation and they simply stand on the streets. You can't accuse them of being terrorists. They don't have guns. Yet they beat them. They arrest them. They refuse to accept the Zionist control of Palestine. The Torah, our religion, because we are Jews, refuse to accept the occupation even in one inch of that holy land. It will never be acceptable 
We are a chief rabbi in 1947. As I always wave that sign, that piece of paper that says, and I quote him, Rabbi, rabbi Duchinsky of blessed memory, with a, with, with a, he, with a, a group of Jewish rabbis, the most prominent and important rabbis of Jerusalem. And there's the pictures, and the United Nations has it in the records, how he stood in front of them, and he said to them, we as Jews, we, we do, we refuse to accept even one inch of this state of Israel, of this concept of a Jewish state in any part of Palestine. This will never change. We will continue. And therefore, we say, Judaism, yes. Zionism, no. The state of Israel must go. Judaism, yes. Zionism, no. The state of Israel must go. I just want to say, while the occupation goes on, our hearts, my Jewish brethren, call me daily from Jerusalem and from occupied Palestine. They hurt, we hurt, we cry, we pain, we suffer with our Palestinian brothers and sisters. We are frustrated that our voices are not heard and that the world looks at their chief rabbi and rabbi and there's something of importance when they are simple imposters. We want you to know they're not being beaten. Here we're being stifled and, and, and attacked also and, and threatened. But we come out a little bit of us around the world as much as we can possibly. We want the world to hear and we urge everybody, stand up, plead with our leaders that they should have the respect for the Jewish religion. Go to the religious communities and hear our voice that we say, do not try to help us by encouraging and supporting an occupation that is against God. Help us free Palestine. One, two, three, four. Zionism no more. One, two, three, four. Zionism no more. Five, six, seven, eight. Five, six, seven, eight. Israel is not a Jewish state. Israel is not a Jewish state. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Israel no more. Israel.
Five, six, seven, eight. Five.